so uh to kind of like piggyback back off his question earlier uh because i'm really curious do you feel like you have more uh when it comes to uh creating and your creativity do you feel like you have more flexibility with uh animated stuff or with uh the live stuff like uh like which do you kind of like lean towards and like enjoy doing more because you know with the live stuff you know like unless it calls for like a science fiction like movie or something where you can actually like create some new sounds that don't quite exist because like it you have nothing to kind of like kind of go off of so like a, a good example would be like uh transformers like there's no real transformers in the real world so like you kind of have to uh build upon like creating like the 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 whole sounds of like what would their footsteps or what would uh their arms sound like like uh moving while they're talking or something like that so like um what do you lean towards more the animated or the real live action or the movie wise stuff so that's a very good question because the first um 10 years of my career i did a lot of sci-fi movies mm -hmm. and a lot of animation i didn't do any tv really mm -hmm. so and sci-fi like you said you get to create things out of thin air like that don't exist yeah so i think it was very cool i i get bored with things thank god i'm a foley artist so <laughs> like my attention is like oh look bird you know then i'm distracted so my job that's why my job is good so animation is very creative and um like you could go from you could walk someone footsteps using a shoe. You could use your hands. Mm. I've done a thing when I get a balloon, licked my finger, and I, that e e was the footstep. <laughs> you know? uh, so like basically, the sky is the limit. It's whatever you envision, and if your supervisor lets you be creative, you could even give him your vision of what it is, and then then they listen back to it and could give you notes, and you just turn masterpieces yeah. with. Um, live action and tv and stuff that's also great because you have uh live people you could predict their movements more you could put more emotion into it mm -hmm. so um and you and and you have to match production yeah so production, production is bad that's when i usually call my supervisor hey this looks like marble but it sounds like wood how do you want me to play it <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I have an idea. How about if I put a really woody shoe and walk it on marble? And of course, coming out top production, they usually, yeah, yeah, that's great. That's a good thing. <laughs> so, so that's that's a difference. Unless there's animation that they had us do more like um, live action, like which was Avatar: The Last Airbender. They leaned into doing it more like a featurey kind of. Uh, okay. style. Okay. And even the animation had emotion. <laughs> yes. Um, you get the the appa, which is like not human, and you know, ang with that little, little, little feet, you know. Yeah. Um, so those are kind of cool to do, you know. But a lot of times there was like when he was sad, you really they did an incredible job portraying that. Yeah. They were really, really creative, you know. That was pretty awesome to work on. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, 